At the beginning of the story, we are introduced to a Taekwondo teacher named Alex Faulkner who is at home. After breakfast, Alex rushed to the Taekwondo school or dojo that he had founded for five years to train his students. Furthermore, he was introduced to a woman named Julia. It is known that Julia is Alex's sister-in-law who works as an admin at the Taekwondo school. Here Julia tells him that one of Alex's former students who is now an M&A champion continues to blab on social media wanting to challenge Alex. But after Alex saw the video, he just smiled and didn't want to respond to the challenge. Moments later, a woman named Samantha Hearthaway arrived, who wanted to enroll her son in Taekwondo school. Alex graciously welcomed Samantha and her son, and the child was very happy. Then Samantha asked if there were any private classes for her, because she wanted to train too. Alex replied that there was, and from then on Samantha and Alex practiced every week. When Samantha finished practicing, she was approached by her ex-husband Victor Demov. Victor asked why Samantha's clothes were wet, and what Samantha had done. Samantha, who felt that she was divorced from Victor, didn't want to say anything. However, Alec explained that Samantha had just been in private practice. In the afternoon, shown Alex training the kids. Then in the evening, until curfew, it's Alex's turn to train teenagers and adults. Long story short, some time later, Samantha continued to attend private classes, and the two became closer. Until after training, Samantha had the courage to ask Alex to dinner, and Alex didn't hesitate to accept the invitation. Later that night while they were having dinner, Alex asked why Samantha's son wasn't invited. Samantha explained that her son was with Victor, Samantha's ex-husband. Samantha then explains that she and Victor have long since parted ways. But until now, Victor has always interfered with her life, with the excuse that Victor only wants to meet their son. Meanwhile, the reason Samantha separated from Victor was because Victor was a cruel person and often tortured Samantha. On the next day, Victor was seen coming to school with his right hand. It turns out that Victor had found out about Alex's meeting with Samantha last night, which made Victor feel jealous. Here, Victor wants to make Alex disturbed right now. In fact, Victor immediately invited Alex out to fight. Alex tried to calm Victor down, but Victor threatened to tear the Taekwondo school apart. As a result, Alex came out, and there was a duel between Alex and Victor's right hand. It didn't take long before Alex could corner the man. After the incident, Samantha went to Alex's house to apologize for Victor, her ex-husband. Alex said that Samantha didn't need to apologize because it wasn't Samantha false. Samantha then told Alex that she was frustrated with Victor's behavior, which always disturbed with her life. Immediately, Alex tried to calm Samantha down, and there was some romantic action between the two. The next morning when Samantha woke up, she accidentally saw a picture of a woman in Alex's room, and Samantha immediately asked him about it. Here Alex explains that five years ago, he did marry a young girl, and at that time Alex was participating in the M&A championship. Until when Alex entered the final, he received information that Alex had a reproductive disorder, which made Alex unable to have children. Knowing this fact, Alex was immediately depressed. Until in the final match, he became unfocused and was slaughtered by his opponent. Since then, Alex has decided to retire from M&A. Meanwhile, he divorced his wife. Alex apparently didn't want to make his wife disappointed because Alex couldn't have children. Some time later, showed Julia the school admin, who was visited by her two daughters. Apparently, the two daughters asked Julia for money to buy ice cream. After being given the money, they both went out. And here Samantha could see Julia's daughter fixing her loose shoeless. A few hours later, all the students were doing combined training from young to old. But not long after, Alex noticed two new people who wanted to train there too. Alex graciously welcomed them and allowed them to train. At one point, the two new people were rude to one of the students. It was known that the two new people named Nathan Nakato and one of his men wanted to challenge Alex. However, Alex didn't want to duel, so he asked Nathan and his men to leave. But at the same time, Nathan's men who really wanted to make chaos, he also attacked Alex. Until there was a duel. After fighting for a long time, Alex was finally able to win the duel. Now it was Nathan's turn to test Alex's skills. But when they were about to fight, Julia approached them, saying that the police would be coming soon. As a result, Nathan and his men hurried away. The next day, it shows Julia, the admin, who is again asked for money by her two daughters to buy ice cream. But for this time, the one who gave the money was Alex, their own biological uncle. In short, after Julia's two daughters bought ice cream and want to return, they were suddenly kidnapped by someone. Two hours later, when Alex was training, he was approached by Julia to ask where his two daughters were. 
Alex replied that he didn't know, because Alex thought Julia's two daughters were in the front room. In the end, they realized that Julia's two daughters had been kidnapped. Then the police arrived, and everyone seemed panicked about the incident. Here Alex tried to calm Julia down by saying that the police would definitely find her two daughters. One week after the incident, Julia was depressed because her two daughters hadn't been found. Julia has also contacted her husband who is Alex's younger brother, but unfortunately it is not connected. It is known that Julia's husband or Alex's younger brother is serving in the military, so he cannot be contacted by anyone. After that Julia went into the bathroom and she who was no longer strong tried to drink a lot of antidepressant drugs. Scene then moved to the front room, where Alex was with Samantha, because for the time being Samantha would be working as an admin. Until shortly, they tried to check the bathroom. And it turned out that Julia was already lying unconscious. Alex and Samantha immediately took her to the hospital. Later that evening, Samantha went to a parking lot to pick up her son from Victor. Here Victor asked how the case of the two children who were kidnapped last Sunday was going. If that had happened to his son, Victor would have blamed Samantha. Samantha also explained that the police still hadn't found a bright spot and clue. Before parting ways, Victor reminded Samantha to keep an eye on her son at all times. Victor also promised to join the search for the two kidnapped children. At the same time, Julia's two daughters and the other children were seen being fed by the kidnapper. That means there have been several victims who were previously kidnapped by the perpetrator. The scene moves back to Alex, who at that time was approached by one of his students who had challenged Alex through social media. It turns out that Alex's students still want to duel against Alex, even without anyone knowing it. Before that, the student also asked about the case that befell Julia's daughters. Alex explained that Julia's daughters hadn't yet been found. As for Julia herself, she was still in the hospital. Then Alex asked why the student was so eager to duel against him. The student replied that he couldn't be called an M&A champion if he couldn't be Alex. In the end, Alex accepted the challenge. Then there was a duel between them. In the middle of the duel, both of them were seen to be equally strong. At one point, Alex was able to defeat his student. Two days later, shown Samantha calling Victor, her ex-husband, to pick up Samantha's son. However, Victor's cell phone hasn't been active since yesterday. So Samantha planned to visit Victor's residence. In short, Samantha came to Victor's residence, which was in a remote location. Then Samantha desperately entered the yard. Unfortunately, Victor's door was locked. Then she went to the back of the house and accidentally saw Victor's right hand carrying a child. After that, Samantha also found a shoe, which Samantha remembered that the shoe belonged to Julia's daughter. Finally, Samantha realized that the culprit who had kidnapped Julia's two daughters was none other than Victor, her own ex-husband. Samantha then quietly approached the hostage room as Victor's right hand left. When Samantha saw the children being held catch, she panicked. Samantha immediately tried to send a location message to Alex, so that he could come to this place. But suddenly Samantha was hit from behind, knocking her unconscious. Fortunately, the message was successfully sent to Alex, before Samantha's cell phone died due to low battery. In short order, Samantha woke up and there was Victor in front of her eyes. Samantha asks where her son is and why Victor kidnapped the boys. Victor explained that his son was safe. As for another children's, he would sell them to Romania for a fantastic price. Hearing this, Samantha rebelled. This led Victor to beat Samantha, knocking her unconscious again. Victor then tells his right hand to put Samantha in a cage while he goes to see his son. After that, Victor came to his son who was playing video games. Then Victor invited his son to leave this place right now. In short, Victor and his son left by car while Victor's right hand seemed to be sleeping while listening to music. Not long after, Alex came to Victor's residence. He entered the yard and knocked on Victor's door. However, Victor's right hand was listening to music, so he couldn't hear the knocking sound. After that, Alex went to the backyard door while calling Samantha's name. Until on one occasion he heard a cry for help. So quickly Alex rushed in the direction of the sound. In the end, Alex met the kidnapped children. There were also his nieces, the two Julia's daughter. Alex quickly removed the cage padlocks, including the one used to confine Samantha. As everyone wants to leave, one of the kids was lying limp and helpless. Alex asked the boy to stay strong because right now he was going to leave this place. Then they quietly went to the garage to get a car. On the other hand, Victor's right hand had risen from his bed and won't go to the back. At some point, Alex and the others managed to escape. 
while Victor's right hand was unable to catch up with them. A few minutes after that, Victor was contacted by his right hand to inform him that the kids in Samantha had managed to escape. Then Victor called the cell phone in Samantha's car. However, Alex forbade Samantha to pick up before they arrived at the police station. Victor kept calling several times, and Samantha, worried about her son's safety, was no choice to pick up the phone. Through the video call, Victor asked Samantha to return the boys and not to go to the police. If they did, Victor wouldn't hesitate to kill their son. This means that all this time Victor actually didn't care about his own biological son. Then to prove that his threat wasn't just playing games, Victor was willing to do this. Seeing this, Samantha and Alex finally didn't dare to report Victor to the police. Then Alex asked Victor to come to his Taekwondo school, if Victor wanted the kids back. When Alex was heading to the Taekwondo school, one of Alex's students, who was a police officer, accidentally saw Alex. But unfortunately, his student was common and ordinary, because he didn't expect that something happened to Alex. In short, Alex arrived at the school, and they immediately went inside. But here Alex saw one boy who was previously seriously sick now not moving. When checked, it turned out that the boy was dead. On the other hand, Victor and his men are almost at the Taekwondo school. And it turns out that one of Victor's men is Nathan, the one who used to make chaos at the Taekwondo school before. As they arrive near the Taekwondo school, Victor calls Samantha to ask for the other kids to be returned now in exchange for Samantha's son. But here Alex took the phone, saying that he would hand over the other kids if Samantha's son was returned first. This angered Victor, who immediately ordered all of his men to go inside to eliminate Alex and Samantha, as well as retrieve the kids. As for Nathan, he was asked to stay here with Victor. Soon after, some of Victor's men could get inside and met up with Alex. There was a fight between them. After defeating them, Alex heard a voice from the side room. So Alex quickly went there, and in there was a fight. On one occasion, Alex could open the person's mask, who turned out to be Victor's right hand. On the other hand, one of Victor's men wanted to enter the room where Samantha and the kids were. Knowing this, Alex immediately dropped the right hand man, then quickly saved Samantha. In the end, Alex could finish off the person. And when his mask was removed, it turned out that he was Nathan's men who had infiltrated the school in the past. After that, Alex took the person's gun and gave it to Samantha. Here Alex asks Samantha not to hesitate to shoot if anyone enters this room again. Alex also asked to keep the room locked. In short, Alex walked again to another place, and accidentally Alex met Victor's right hand who was still alive. Of course the two of them immediately dueled to finish each other off. After dropping the right hand, some of Victor's men attacked Alex again. Not long after, Victor's right hand rose again, then beat Alex, because apparently the right hand was so strong. Alex, whose stamina start to drop, was certainly overwhelmed by the right hand. At one point, the right hand pulled out a knife and was ready to stab Alex. But this is what happened, where Alex could turn the situation around. Then Alex finished off the man very brutally. The scene moves to Victor who is starting to worry, because all his men haven't returned. Until finally Victor assigned Nathan to go inside. Long story short, Nathan and Alex faced each other. Even though Alex was exhausted, he couldn't help but face him. The martial arts battle was epic. Until finally, Alex could finish off Nathan. On the other hand, Alex's students suddenly remembered Alex. Until shortly, he decided to check on Alex who had gone to the Taekwondo Martial Arts School. Then the scene returns to Alex who is now approached by Victor and his son at gunpoint. When Victor want to finish Alex, Samantha suddenly appears, also at gunpoint. But here Victor asks Samantha to lower her weapon, because otherwise Victor will finish off their son by himself. Victor then asks where the kids she kidnapped are now, to which Samantha rebels, and this is what happens. Victor shoots Samantha and Alex. <laughs> Then when Victor want to finish Alex off, with all his rest of power Alex turned the tables, and Victor was finally shot dead right in the head. After finishing off Victor, Alex suddenly dying and immediately fell down. At the same time, Alex's students had just arrived at school, and finally found them. Three weeks later, we see Samantha getting out of the car. After being discharged from the hospital, it turns out that Samantha came to school with Alex and her son. In front of the school, many people were preparing to welcome Alex. Apparently the people in the city wanted to say a lot of thanks to Alex, 
because Alex had saved their children and stopped the kidnapping in the city. Also seen there were Julia and her husband who had just returned from military duty. As previously known, Julia's husband is Alex's younger brother, and he also expressed his gratitude to Alex. Not only that, the children who were rescued by Alex were also there with their parents. As for Samantha, she decided to get married to Alex next month, and with a happy situation, the movie ended.